Hi, Michael Hurwich here for CreativeCow.net. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at the Particle Paint Helper in 3ds Max 2010. So here we are in 3ds Max 2010. It's a brand new project. Nothing has happened here yet. And the first thing I'm going to do is just to create a sphere. And I'm going to actually create particles on this sphere. And I'll maximize that and also shrink it back a little bit. Before we start, let's take a look at the help file for the Particle Paint Helper. So the Particle Paint Helper enables you to apply particle seeds with a specific pattern and timing onto the surface of one or more objects. So that's the sphere. We're going to be applying particle seeds to this sphere. Particle seeds painted with the Particle Paint Helper are not particles, but are seeds that can be turned into particles with the birth paint or placement paint operators in Particle Flow. And we're going to be using the birth paint operator. You can spray particle seeds with a freehand painting tool or by using 3ds Max splines. We're going to be using freehand painting. Particle paint works in any orthogonal viewport, such as front or top view. It sprays directly into the viewport that is perpendicular to the plane of view and plants particle seeds on the surface of the first object that it hits. So the first thing that we need to do is to create the particle paint helper. I'm just going to hit Alt W now to go back to the four viewport view. And we're in the create panel. We go to the helpers category. Click here to go to particle flow and here's particle paint. So I just click that and then in the front viewport just click and drag and it doesn't matter where you create it or how it's pointing or anything like that. The direction of the spring is determined by what viewport you're in, not by this icon. So notice that it sprays directly into the viewport perpendicular to the plane of view. Okay. So the next thing we do is go to the Modify panel here, and I'm going to choose, right at the top here, under Setup, Freehand Paint. Now when I go into any orthogonal viewport, I get this icon, which is the sprayer. And you can see that in the perspective viewport, it's a no-go icon, because you can't do this in the perspective viewport. So I'm going to right-click in the top viewport and I'm going to use this to spray. I'm just going to click and drag and there it sprays, but it only sprays where it finds an object. Now I'm going to move the playhead here and notice I'm not in any kind of animation. You don't have to be in any animation mode like auto key or set key, but it still basically animates. Let me go back to the help file here with a specific pattern and timing. Okay, so moving the playhead here determines the timing. And now I'll just drag across that way. Now, right now, we're not seeing any timing there. I'm going to get out of the freehand paint here. And let me go down this way, all the way to the bottom here. And we have Show Particle Timing. This is in the editing rollout here. So click that. Now the particles start out gray, as you can see. Maybe I'll just hit Alt W to maximize this so you can see it a little better, even zoom in a bit. These are the little plus signs that represent the particle seeds. And as I go along the timeline, they start turning to white from gray. And that indicates the timing of how these particles will become active. So that's kind of a worthwhile thing to do to enable the show particle timing so you can see what the timing of those particles will be as it runs through the animation. Now at this point, let me just hit Alt W again, maybe go over to the perspective window. We don't have any particles yet. If I were to try to render this, you would see absolutely nothing, just the sphere sitting there because 
particle seeds are not particles. They can be turned into particles with the birth paint or placement paint operator and particle flow. We're going to use birth paint. So first of all, I'm going to hit the number 6 just to bring up the particle view. And as you can see, there's nothing there now. So I'm going to go to the Create panel, Geometry, Particle Systems, and I'm going to drag a PF source. I'll just do it in the front viewport. It doesn't matter where you do it, because eventually the particles are going to be originating on this sphere, not from this particle flow source. The reason that I did that is just to bring up this particle flow. It automatically creates a particle flow. Now this uses a birth operator and we want the birth paint operator. So let's just grab this birth paint operator, drag it until you see the red line over the birth operator and then just let go and it substitutes the birth paint operator for that birth operator. Now again, if we were to render this at this point, we wouldn't see anything because if you go to this birth paint operator, it wants a particle paint helper as the source for the particles and it doesn't have one. So click that none button there and go out and choose this particle paint helper. Now it says particle paint one. Now we're getting pretty close to being where we want to be. Let's try rendering this. Go to the render dialog here. I'll just try rendering the uh, first 25 frames here. And I'm not even going to set up a file. This is just a test to see what I can see. So I'll just click render. And it says, are you sure you want to do this because there's no file? Yes, because this is just a test. So there are my particles, but they are now coming from that particle flow emitter that I created there. I want them to come from the sphere. So to do that, I can simply disable this position operator here by clicking there. When that goes gray, that disables that position operator. Get that out of the way and render once again. Again, I will because this is just a test. So now it's coming from the sphere. So now let's go ahead and create a file. Let's go through the whole active time segment, 1 to 100, and create a file. And I'll just uh, create a QuickTime file and call this PP01 for particle paint save that. I'll just accept the defaults here and let's try rendering that. So that basically worked. Maybe I'll just pull back a little bit so we see the whole particle pattern. And let's try that again. Render. Yes. So that is the basics of the particle paint operator in 3ds Max 2010.